Hi there, it's Craig VK3CRG in Geelong, Victoria. The uh, reason I'm talking to you through a camera <laughs> is uh, VK3RTV, the uh, amateur television repeater in Mount Dandenong, which is set at uh, Olinda, been sited at Olinda on top of the Dandenongs uh, for 38 years. He's about to be decommissioned in the next couple of days. We're not exactly sure when, but uh, it's a bit sad because, as I said, it's been there for 38 years. It started off as black and white in 1977, I think it was, and uh, has obviously gone you know, to colour, stereo sound, and uh, now is digital <coughs> and um, transmits DVB-T, normal digital television, on 446, 500 megahertz with various inputs. There's multiple inputs, analog and digital inputs, into the repeater. Uh, I transmit um, digital uh, using uh, DVBS, which is the satellite standard for digital television. Um, now the repeater's off air at the moment. It looks like there's something there, but there's not because that's actually stored in my set-top box. So if I turn that back on again, the set-top box. <coughs> um, it's just booting up now. <coughs> From my place to Olinda is about 92, 93 kilometres, so there's nothing there at the moment. Well, it's just a set top box coming up. Um, so yeah, there's about it's about 90 kilometres, just over that. And uh, most of it's across Port Phillip Bay from me here in Geelong, over to Oli uh, over Melbourne suburbs, and then over to Olinda out the other side of Melbourne. And then obviously it's the same distance back. So uh, I thought we might go on air one of the last times. We'll go on air using VK3 RTV. So we'll turn on the uh, exciter which is a DVB-S exciter running at 1255 megahertz, or 1.25 gig, 55, there we go. Uh, we'll turn on the power amp, which is over here. There's the power amp down there. Um, here's the input from the exciter. There's the output out to the antenna. It's got a Mitsubishi chip in it. Runs about seven and a half watts or thereabouts. That's the maximum you can get out of it uh, because it's digital and it's a broadband, it's a, it's a television channel. Uh, okay, so we'll fire up into, into Mount Dandenong. As I said, it'll be one of the uh, last times we'll be able to do that before they decommission it in a couple of days. So I'll go on the air and see what comes back. <coughs> Takes a while to... There we go, we're on. So that's VK3 RTV um, from Melbourne. So it's... Uh, about a 180 kilometer trip, round trip, from my signal. Uh, you'll see the, um, the uh, delay, so if I wave my hand here, you'll see there. Um, that up the top is the simplex signal. That's straight out of the transmitter. Uh, there's just a bit of wire on a satellite receiver, which is there, um, which is up there. And um, as you'll see, the uh, analog or the, the digital service that uh, that we run has all the information on it <coughs> um, etc so there we go but uh, yeah it's a bit sad about VK3 RTV moving after 38 years or thereabouts but it will be going to um, another site <coughs> experimentally it's certainly not going to disappear from the airwaves and uh, VK3 BFG Peter Cossens um, has done a fantastic job in keeping the site running, updating it, making it digital, and you know, there's been obviously a whole bunch of other people that have helped as well. Peter's sort of the king of uh, amateur TV in Melbourne. We're certainly going to miss VK3 RTV for a little while. So if I change channels, we go on to channel the second channel. There's nothing. There's nothing on the other input. VK3 RTV has two inputs. Uh, one is analog. One, one is digital. So I'm using the digital input. <coughs> but uh, yeah, so. There we go. VK3 RTV, we're going to miss you for a little while. But uh, yeah, 38 years of uh, continuous operation since 1977. I think it was actually it's 39 years, was it? I don't know. Um, is, is extraordinary. It's um, just under 40 years anyway. Started off as black and white, uh, went to colour, um, analogue, and uh, so on. So there we go. VK3 RTV, if I... Just go off the air, you'll see the slide that comes up. There it is there. <coughs> We're certainly going to miss uh, VK3 RTV for a while. I'm, I'm new to amateur television. I've only been doing it for maybe six months, thanks to Peter's help. 
But uh, yeah, we'll certainly miss it. If I go back on the air, it'll come back up in a sec. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, there you go. So, uh, yeah, the uh, Melbourne Television Repeater RTV is uh, going off here for a little while. For those that watch it, um, it is going to be vertical, vertical polarization uh, on transmit when it does come back up. So that may be something to uh, to keep in mind. And it should be up around the Surrey Hills area or thereabouts in Melbourne um, or around Glen Waverley. But uh, there'll be details of that up and I'm sure it'll be in uh, AR Magazine and a few other things. But uh, there we go. Amateur television. Um, pretty much a 200 kilometre um, round trip from Geelong. Uh, is about to go off the air, which is a bit sad, but like I said, uh, onwards and upwards. It's not the end of the repeater, just the end of the site being there for 40 years. So uh, thanks to everyone being involved in amateur television. Hopefully more get involved. It's not as expensive or complex as what you might think. And um, just, yeah, onwards and upwards for VK3 RTV. So we'll, uh, we'll shut it off over here. And uh, there you go.